this next album, Love Story, the album following Radioactive is a totally different approach artistically. And um, uh, there were there were some Marshall and I were, were cut short creatively in a lot of ways. You know what I'm saying? Like we we never really got a chance to really just like be left alone in a sense, like just do what we wanted to do. I think that a lot of people saw obviously they see Marshall as a gold mine, you know, out of the gate, you know, and they saw that this being the first I guess white rapper that he had co-signed and wanted to do a project with that did that we needed single after single after single and I gave that creative space up admittedly I gave that up you know and I said prior that all right I'm gonna I'm gonna allow this to happen but if it doesn't work don't ever ask me to do it again you know it's not it's not gonna happen so I did and um like I predicted, like I knew what happened. Um, there are records that didn't work. There are records that didn't translate because my fans weren't ready to hear it. But I was all on board for it, you know, just being a team player. But now that I've allowed that to happen, what's going to happen now is I'm going to get back in the studio in Nashville and um, create Love Story. And then I'm going to go to Detroit, God willing, and sit down with Marshall with my album, and we're gonna put it together, just him and I, you know what I'm saying, and like, whatever artist, period, that we allow in the circle, and, and, uh, and like-minded people to come in and have an input, and uh, that, that is that, there's not, you know, there, there are certain sounds, there are certain styles that, that only happen once, so Radioactive has a few examples of um, trial and error, I would say, you know, but it's all good, man. I definitely learned a lot with that album and as far as how industry works and restructured my situation, uh, you know. So Slamerican is, is, is taking the place of other situations that were there at the time. And, um, I have complete, one million percent faith that what's going to reach the people this time is going to be way more impactful simply just because it is artistically coming from a very genuine place, you know what I mean? And like, there was no boundaries put around us and because everyone can sit around and say, hey man, we really tried, you know what I mean? Like, so just give me what I need, give me my space, just back out the studio, do what you do, whatever it is that you do, and let me do what I do. When the music is done, then you can send it out to the masses however you choose, but let me make sure that the product is what it's supposed to be without your creative input, because unless you're standing on that fucking stage, or you're in that studio writing that music, your input means so much less to me at this point, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm proud, man, I think that it's going to go go down exactly how it's supposed to go down, love story, Psycho White, November 13th, Trump Music Returns, February 2013, hopefully, um, Country Cousins, you know, I, I don't know when it's in the making, and then, uh, of course, love story. Love story is uh, gonna get done. It's gonna get done the right way, so.